Thank you, Madam Deputy President. Well, wasn't that an uncomfortable, although not unfamiliar, silence we had from Minister Colbeck this afternoon in question time in failing to answer what can only be called very basic, very factual questions about the vaccination rollout, about the number of people who have been impacted by COVID this year, about the death from COVID. It, it is just staggering, absolutely staggering. Senator Chisholm was asking about the number of deaths of Australians since the start of the year. He was asking about the number of Australians in ICU. And in response, silence, silence for moments and moments and moments as once again, Minister Colbeck couldn't answer the most basic of factual questions on this pandemic. Now, these are hardly gotcha questions. It's hardly an attempt at a gotcha moment, right? Basic factual questions, but an astonishing silence that has come to characterise his performance in question time on this topic, his performance in this place. We've got almost half the country in lockdown, New South Wales entering its seventh week in lockdown, my state having been locked down, Cairns going into lockdown now. And what's the pathway out? What's the pathway from this government out of this mess? We know we need to get to somewhere like 70, 80 per cent of vaccination across Australia if we're going to start to see the end of lockdowns. And the way the Prime Minister's patting himself on the back, you'd think we were close to that. But let's look at some facts. As of the 7th of August, only just over 22 per cent of the population over 16 has had both vaccines. In South Australia, that's, that's even lower. We're not anywhere near the vaccination rate we need to be if we're going to see an end to these lockdowns. These lockdowns, which more than half the country are experiencing or have experienced in recent weeks, including in my home state of South Australia. Millions of Australians left exposed and vulnerable to the Delta strain in particular because they haven't been able to access jabs in arms. And disproportionately, younger people with much lower rate of vaccination who are often out there doing essential work. It may not be characterised as essential for the purposes of their access to vaccination, but it is essential work because it has to continue. Many of those are young people who are also vulnerable from this strain, from this variant. They've already suffered disproportionately because of this pandemic. And now more so, they are desperate to see their lives return to normal. But until they have both shots of a vaccination, they cannot. The government has bungled this. The government has bungled the vaccination rollout just as a bungled hotel quarantine. And Minister Colbeck stood in parliament today not only unable to answer the most basic factual questions, but he had the audacity to accuse Labor of attempting to politicise the vaccination rollout. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing could be further from the truth. Labor has every right to ask you questions about this rollout. That's not politicising it. That's holding you to account. That's our job. That's our job. And we have to because you've bungled it. And if you want to talk about politicising the rollout, if you want to talk about politicising vaccines, a little self audit of the Facebook pages of your backbenchers wouldn't go astray. It wouldn't go astray because if there's anyone <coughs> politicising the vaccination rollout, it is not Labor senators. It is people on your own side, on your own backbench, on their Facebook pages in the public domain. That's where the problem is of politicisation. And rather than focus on us, you should be focused on fixing the bungled vaccine rollout, the bungled hotel quarantine system, and the mess we're in at the moment where far too many Australians are standing ready and waiting to get a vaccination, but are unable to access it. They're unable to access it. That's where your focus should be. That's where your attention should be. And by Labor senators asking you the most basic and factional questions about where that process is up to, you should be able to answer that when you come into question time. The most basic level of ministerial accountability. So perhaps be able to do that before you start attacking us.
Thank you, Senator Smith.